Thanks very much. So I would like to talk today about Hub Zero and how to achieve software sustainability for a science gateway framework. And so in Europe, it's often called a virtual research environment or in Australia, a virtual lab. Hub Zero really helps to build a full functional virtual research environment. So there are a lot of collaborations and integrations with Jupyter, Astar Studio, or with um, authentication mechanisms like Incoming. So also it has different business models. So that is one of the ideas. One is really hosting services that um, teams can apply for that and um, or have a no hassle hub and don't and yeah, they have to do the maintenance themselves, but also there is the as open source platform offered. And there's a diversity of domains. So over 60 hubs are already available, which are based on Hub Zero. And it has like one and a half million visitors worldwide. So what does Hub Zero really do? It, it provides the possibilities to start tools, to have online resources, share them with collaborators. There's a content management system directly um, integrated and it helps with publishing, giving DOIs. So on, on the right hand side, you can see also that we connect um, to, to Boeing, for example, with this volunteer computing or to Exceed. And all these different aspects from having different domains, looking really what do people like to use in their own environment, this Jupyter or our studio or the bash scripts. So we try to really support the different environments where researchers do this and um, yeah, help them to publish their research and share data. 